At some point in a Linux admin's career, they need to add timestamps to output. Whether it's logging for shell scripts or a simple command like ping, trace root, etc., timestamps can come in handy. There are many ways to accomplish this, but none are as easy as the ts command. In this Linux quick tip we will show you how to easily add, convert and format timestamps to any output using the ts command. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The ts command is part of the more utils package, which houses some useful utilities. It is available from default repositories on most Linux systems. Here are instructions on installing it with your package manager. The basic function of the ts command is to add timestamps to the beginning of each line of input. The use of the word input is initially confusing, but it will become more clear as we go through examples. If you invoke TS without any options it will wait for input from the keyboard. Once it receives a line of input it will add a timestamp to the beginning of that line and print it to standard output. Here we are feeding input to TS on standard input. This becomes a lot more useful when you feed input from a pipe. In this example we will use the TS command to print timestamps on our ping output. As you can see, TS added a timestamp to every line of input. You might ask, isn't that output? Yes, in the end it is output from the TS command. However, the pipe is taking the output from the ping command and sending it to TS as input. Using the minus s or minus i options will give you incremental timestamps instead of absolute. However, they differ by the start of the incrementation. The minus s option will show incremental timestamps from the start of the program or action. In other words it will show the time since you started the program. Here you can see the ping example again, this time with incrementing timestamps. The minus i option works a little differently. It shows the time since the last timestamp. In the past I have seen some shell scripts use this in very creative ways. Here is the ping example again, this time with incrementing timestamps showing the time since the last timestamp. By default ping sends a packet every second. This caused the timestamp to be one on each output after the first since each timestamp was one second apart. The minus R option converts existing timestamps into relative times like 26 minutes ago. To demonstrate this I will use the journal ctl command to display system logs. We will then pipe it to the ts command to convert them to relative timestamps. Please note that this option requires some Perl modules. See the written article at the link in the description for more information. With the ts command, formatting timestamps is very similar to the formatting used in the date command. Let's take a look at some examples. Of course you can combine these formatting strings to make any format you desire. Here are some more complex examples. You can also format existing timestamps by combining the minus R option with any formatting parameters. Let's look at an example. Here is a normal system log entry, take note of the timestamp. The journal CTL timestamps are already pretty friendly. However, we can change them to whatever we desire. In this example we convert them to something very natural to Americans. Adding, converting, and formatting timestamps is simple with the ts command. For more information and additional formatting examples, please see the written article at the link in the descriptions. Remember, if you found this useful, please support Putorius by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to be notified of new videos.